What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are gonna go over how to beat your defender without dribbling the basketball. Let's get started. All right guys, well, like I said, we're gonna go over three different moves without even using a dribble, right? So we're gonna work on our pivot scoring moves in order to beat the defender. Now, before we get started and I dive into the first one, make sure you hit the subscribe button to join Think Pro Basketball and check out all the great content that we release weekly designed to help you improve your game, okay? So now, everything in today's video I'm gonna do on this wing right here just so you can see it and see it done in full speed. You can use all these moves anywhere on the floor. So keep that in mind. Now the first move is a simple jab jumper. Like I said, we're not gonna use a dribble at all. We're just gonna set up our defender by using different jab steps to free ourselves up in order to give enough space to get our shot off, all right? So if I'm out here, I'm on the wing. A jab step is used to get the defender to back up and for them to honor and respect our ability to drive the basketball. So we really have to sell that drive or that jab step as well, because if I jab out this direction, it's fine, right? But we want them to go back. If we just go this way to the side, they're gonna go sideways. So we wanna jab at them, so now as a defender, when you jab, I go here. If you go sideways, I'm still in front of you, you know what I mean? But if you jab at me, I have to take that step back to honor the drive that I was talking about. All right, so with this basic and first easy move that we're gonna go with, again, like I said, we're gonna go into a jab, right into a jumper. All right, so you wanna jab the defender hard, and we're right back into our shot. It's also good to move the basketball. So when you jab, you can jab, and we're right back. All right, me, I personally, I like to get a little boom, and I'm right back, just to get a little rhythm into the jump shot. However you like to use your jab step, go for it, but make sure you knock down the jumper. This is the jab jumper in full speed. All right, Hoopers, moving on to move number two off of our pivot, right? We're now gonna work on a cross step to a rip jumper, okay? So with this move, again, we spin the ball out, we're gonna cross step. So I'm right-handed, I like to cross with that right foot, more comfortable for me. Left-handed players, you might cross with that left foot. Now, after we use the cross step, that's just to get the defender off balance. You could do it with speed or you could do it slow, so you can go, here, or if you want, you just get them here to put them to sleep. Now, when you come back to ready to shoot the basketball, this is where the rip part comes in. We're gonna come back, and now when that foot's starting to come back, we're gonna start that ball to rip underneath, right into our jump shot, okay? So again, I'll cross step here, boom, come back, rip, and I'm right into my jumper. So this is more of a slow pace type of move, in my opinion, because you're putting the defender to sleep. You cross step, they're here, now you're coming back slowly, they're relaxed, they're not really ready to play defense because they don't think you're a threat, and that's why we use that rip to get our rhythm into our shot to be able to fire away. All right, so one last time, we're here, we cross step, we come back, boom, and we're in our jump. Let's have a look at move number two in full speed. All right, Hoopers, we're on move number three, using our pivots with no dribble to score against our defender. This last one is a spin, jab, jumper, right? So with this move, we're out here again on the perimeter. We're going to use that cross step method where we're here. Now, instead of coming back this direction, we're gonna go from here, keeping that left foot or right foot planted, right, and spinning back, okay? So we're gonna spin on them. 
So I cross step here. Now I'm going to spin back. That front foot comes forward. And at the same time, I'm gonna rip that ball back into my jumper. So again, I'm here, I spin, I jab, I rip right into my shot. This one, you have to be disciplined with your pivot foot. Stay established on the ground. Don't drag it, don't lift it so you get called for a travel. Be disciplined with it, hard cross to a spin. That jab, hard rip. Rip that ball low, ride it, rhythm up right into your jumper. Move number three, no dribbles, just your pivot foot working to score on your defender. Have a look in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. Three moves that you can use without even putting the ball on the floor. If you liked it and learned something, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment, and let us know what your favorite move was of the three. After you do that and before you leave, hit the subscribe button to join Think Pro Basketball. We're providing you with professional level of training that's easy to follow and that's going to deliver in-game results. Now, until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember always, keep hooping.